My dear friends, a hearty welcome to each one of you for this Holy Eucharist of Love. Today being a Saturday, we offer a Mass through the intercession of our dear Mother, seeking for our assistance, especially those who are sick with COVID and other illnesses. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us call to mind all our sins and our failures. Ask the Lord's pardon and mercy for those times that we have failed. Let us confess together. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and my sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what have I done, what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and my sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the prophet Zechariah. Raising my eyes, I saw a vision. It was this. There was a man with a measuring line in his hand. I asked him, Where are you going? He said, To measure Jerusalem, to find out her breadth and her length. And then, while the angels who were talking to me stood still, another angel came forward to meet him. He said to him, Run and tell that young man this. Jerusalem is to remain unwalled because of the great number of men and cattle there will be in her. But I, it is the Lord who speaks. 
I will be a wall of fire for her all around her and I will be her glory in the midst of her. Sing rejoice, daughter of Zion, for I am coming to dwell in the middle of you. It is the Lord who speaks. Many nations will join the Lord. On that day, they will become his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. O nations, hear the word of the Lord. Proclaim it to the far off coasts. Say, he who scattered Israel will gather him and guard him as a shepherd guards his flock. Your response? The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob and saved him from an overpowering hand. They will come and shout for joy on Mount Zion. They will stream to the blessings of the Lord. Your response? The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the young girls will rejoice and will dance. The men, young and old, will be glad. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console them, give gladness for grief. Your response? The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia Open your heart, O Lord, to accept the words of your Son. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 9, verses 43 to 45. At a time when everyone was full of admiration for all he did, Jesus said to his disciples, For your part, you must have these words constantly in your mind. The Son of Man is going to be handed over into the power of men. But this did not understand him when he said this. It was hidden from them so that they should not see the meaning of it. And they were afraid to ask him about what he had just said. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, almost everyone has dreams. When we go to bed, probably some people immediately begin to dream. And in their dream, there are various types of happenings in life. Sometimes it is a continuation of what they do in life. Sometimes there is an abrupt end to what they do. And sometimes the dreams are of very different nature, like celestial beings and situations. Dreams do matter to people. Some people say when they have dreams, 
they feel good in life and some people feel when they have no dreams that they feel empty in life there is a situation in the first reading with Zechariah he has a vision this is a higher form of a dream a vision and in this vision he sees a man who is wanting to measure the length and the breadth of the area of Jerusalem this happens in the presence of an angel and another angel appears there asking the other go and ask that man what is he doing and he says yes this man when I ask him he says he is going to measure the width and the length of the area of Jerusalem for the temple construction at that time there is a notice to him say you are young man there is no need of putting any wall around Jerusalem so the wall will curtail the boundary of the people and its number because the number that will belong to the temple will be beyond the boundary that you make my dear people of God see how God is thinking of the temple a temple that we think in our human nature is just a small boundary but God who instructs Zechariah through this man through the angel that I am going to be the boundary of fire I am going to protect the glory of God will come from heaven to protect Jerusalem and all the nations will belong to Jerusalem which means to say God is going to intervene there in the lives of the people you know in many of the churches when the parish priests begin to build church and they want to build a big a huge church there will be 50 families and the church will be meant for 1000 to 2000 people and some are very critical about that why are you building such a big church but 4-5 years pass later and that church is not enough because the God has inspired this man to go beyond the boundary so the intervention of God in Jerusalem means that God himself will come and that temple will not suffice the temple of God is beyond Jerusalem which is all over the world therefore Jesus today who became God today he has revealed everything to the whole world and the whole world glorifies and reveres him and knows him as God so the God who comes on earth he becomes the redeemer and savior of the whole world not just the area of Jerusalem my dear friends and this God who is going to intervene there in the later course in Jerusalem it is Jesus himself and same Jesus today in the gospel of Luke chapter 9 verses 43 to 45 says to his disciples remember at all times what is going to happen the son of man will be handed over to the power of men means he has to suffer here at the hands of all these people probably all of us who are building the temple and that isn't actually the temple of God the temple of God is beyond that is Jesus himself 
Jesus is reminding all of them. Here, the Son of Man has to suffer and die. He will open the doors of heaven to us. So Jerusalem will not suffice for us. And here the disciples are not understanding anything. Why? Because they have got limited understanding. Nor does Jesus go on explaining to them about this. Because he wanted them to understand that the glory of God is not just like the political glory on this earth. Here glory is that ones who suffer, die and rise again on the third day. So my dear friends, even in our lives, we need to know that God is there in our life at all times, in our sufferings, in our struggles, even during this pandemic, He's strongly there with us, assisting us, helping us. We need to accept the sufferings and go ahead in life. Yet, we should concentrate and keep our eyes focused on this Lord without getting distracted. Let us at this time remember God's mercy and glory for us in our lives. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. We offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, as we rejoice in commemorating the mother of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we may advance towards eternal redemption, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints. And especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to earth's ends you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the loneliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with us in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, not that you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to your health is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will. We we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Sharing the banquet of the Lord in the blessed sacrament. Come and share in the supper of the Lord in the blessed sacrament. Eat the bread and drink the wine. Flesh and blood of the Lord divine. Share his life, it is yours and mine. For we Amen. In the bread and drink of 
Let us pray to Mary, our mother, for all the necessary graces, both material and spiritual, thanking our dear mother for being with us, for assisting us, for interceding for us, especially during our times of sufferings, struggles. Dear mother, we ask you to bless our two priests who are in the hospital. Bless them and heal them. Dear Mother, we ask you to bring healing to all those people who are COVID positive and those who seek for healing from various illnesses. Bless our families, our children and youth. Let us pray. Renewed with this heavenly food, we humbly implore you, Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender virgin, under sacramental science, we may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, may you have a wonderful weekend. May God bless you. Shedding so light, soulless in sorrow.